Today we will learn about tenses. Let's see an introduction of tenses. First of all, let's read the following sentences. I write the letter now. I wrote the letter yesterday. I shall write the letter tomorrow. In first sentence, the verb write refers to present time. In second sentence, the verb wrote refers to past time. In third sentence, the verb shall write refers to future time. Thus, a verb may refer to present time, to past time or to future time. A verb that refers to present time is said to be in the present tense as I write, I walk. A verb that refers to past time is said to be in the past tense as I wrote, I walked. A verb that refers to future time is said to be in the future tense as I shall write, I will walk. Thus, there are three main tenses, the present, the past, the future. The tense of a verb shows the time of an action or event. Below, the chief tenses of the verb to speak is given. In present tense, the form of verb to speak for first person, second person and third person singular number is used as I speak, you speak and for third person, he speaks. Similarly, for first person, second person, third person, plural number, it is used as we speak, you speak, they speak respectively. In past tense, the form of verb to speak for first person, second person, third person, singular number is used as I spoke, you spoke, he spoke. For plural number, it is we spoke, you spoke and they spoke. In future tense, the form of verb to speak for first person, second person, third person, singular number is used as I shall or will speak, you will speak, he will speak. For plural number, it is used as we shall or will speak, you will speak, they will speak. Let's learn about different forms of present tense with the help of some examples. The first sentence is I speak. This is an example of simple present tense. I am speaking. The example of present continuous tense. I have spoken. The example of present perfect tense. I have been speaking. Example of present perfect continuous tense. The verbs in all of these sentences refer to the present time and are therefore said to be in the present tense. In first sentence, however, the verb shows that the action is mentioned simply without anything being said about the completeness or incompleteness of the action. In second sentence, the verb shows that the action is mentioned as incomplete or continuous, that is, as still going on. In third sentence, the verb shows that the action is mentioned as finished, complete or perfect at the time of speaking. The tense of the verb in fourth sentence is said to be present perfect continuous because the verb shows that the action is going on continuously and not completed at this present moment. Just as the present tense has four forms, the past tense also has the following four forms. I spoke, an example of simple past tense. I was speaking, an example of past continuous tense. I had spoken, an example of past perfect tense. I had been speaking, an example of past perfect continuous tense. Similarly, the future tense has the following four forms. I shall or will speak, an example of simple future tense. 
I shall or will be speaking. An example of future continuous tense. I shall or will have spoken. Example of future perfect tense. I shall have been speaking. An example of future perfect continuous tense. We may now define tense as that form of verb which shows the time and the state of an action or event. So as we have seen, there are 12 tenses. Let's discuss all the tenses one by one. So let's start with the very first one that is simple present tense. So we make the simple present tense with a subject, the present form of verb and the object. With the help of some sentences, let's try to understand this. I eat a mango. You eat a mango. He eats a mango, they eat a mango. So here I, you, he and they are subject. Eat and eats is a present form of verb and a mango is an object. Here he is a third person so we are using the S E S form of verb. So let's see the second form of present tense that is present continuous tense. So we make the present continuous tense using subject plus is m or are plus verb in ing form plus object. Let's see some sentences. I am eating a mango. You are eating a mango. He is eating a mango. They are eating a mango. Here I, you, he and they is a subject we are using is m or are with respect to the pronoun or subject we are using and the form of verb with ing and the object that is mango so let's move to the third form of present tense that is present perfect tense so we make the present perfect tense using subject plus have or has plus third form of the verb and object. Let's see some sentences for present perfect tense. I have eaten a mango. You have eaten a mango. He has eaten a mango. They have eaten a mango. Here I, you, he, they are subject and we have used have and has as per the pronoun or subject and the third form of the verb eat is eaten and the object that is mango and we got the sentences of present perfect tense the last form of present tense is present perfect continuous tense so we make present perfect continuous tense using subject plus have been plus verb in ing form and the object let's see some sentences for this as well i have been eating a mango you have been eating a mango he has been eating a mango they have been eating a mango here subject is i you he and they and we have used have been or has been and the verb plus ing form that is eating and the object and so we got the sentences for present perfect continuous tense let's move to the next tense that is past tense the very first form of past tense is simple past tense and we make simple past tense using subject plus second form of the verb plus object let's see some sentences of simple past tense i ate a mango you ate a mango he ate a mango they ate a mango here are you he they are subject and the second form of verb eat is ate so we are using ate here and the object is a mango and we made the sentence of simple past tense the next form of 
past tense is past continuous tense so we make the past continuous tense using subject plus was or were plus verb in ing form and the object let's see some sentences i was eating a mango you were eating a mango he was eating a mango they were eating a mango here i you he and they are subject we have used was were with verb in ing form that is was eating or were eating and the object that is mango the third form of past tense is past perfect tense here we make the past perfect tense using subject plus had plus third form of the verb plus object so let's see some sentences for past perfect tense i had eaten a mango you had eaten a mango he had eaten a mango they had eaten a mango here i you he and they are subject and we have used had plus third form of verb that is had eaten and the object here is a mango let's see the next form of past tense that is past perfect continuous tense so we make the past perfect continuous tense using subject plus had been plus ing form of verb plus object so let's see some sentences i had been eating a mango you had been eating a mango he had been eating a mango they had been eating a mango so here you can see i you he they are subject and we have used had been with ing form of verb that is had been eating and the object that is a mango the next tense is future tense the very first form of future tense is simple future tense so we make the simple future tense using subject plus shall or will plus first form of the verb plus object let's see the sentences i shall eat a mango you will eat a mango he will eat a mango they will eat a mango here i you he they are subject and we have used shall or will with the first form of the verb that is eat that is shall eat or will eat and the object a mango the next form of future tense is future continuous tense so we make future continuous tense using subject plus shall or will be plus ing form of verb plus object so let's see some sentences i shall be eating a mango you will be eating a mango he will be eating a mango they will be eating a mango so we have made future continuous tense using the subjects here i you he and they and will be and shall be with ing form of eat that is eating and the object a mango the third form of future tense is future perfect tense so we make the future perfect tense using subject plus shall or will have plus third form of verb plus object so let's see some sentences i shall have eaten a mango you will have eaten a mango he will have eaten a mango they will have eaten a mango so here we are using subject i you he they and the third form of verb with shall have or will have that is shall have eaten or will have eaten and the object a mango the last form of future tense is future perfect continuous tense here we make future perfect continuous tense using subject plus shall or will have been plus verb in ing form plus object let's see some sentences i shall have been eating a mango you will have 
been eating a mango he will have been eating a mango they will have been eating a mango so here the subject are you he they and in ing form of verb that is eating is used with shall have been or will have been and the object a mango all right so this brings us to the end of this video and i hope you have understood about all the 12 tenses and how to make the sentences of these tenses tense is one of the most important topic in english grammar so it is very important for you to learn and understand tenses in detail